Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Here I'm going to show you a tutorial for the trick Dexpert, which I performed a couple of days ago on my channel. Um, this trick is different in its handling in the book. Um, quite a bit actually because I've eliminated a lot of the dealing that occurs um, in the effect. So here's how it works. It's from a shuffle deck in use. Um, now, I always have a reverse breather in my deck. So when I get my deck back from the spectator, I might Charlie A cut my reverse breather to the bottom or just cut it to the bottom. So I always have a reverse breather with the X and the nine of clubs, okay? And that's always in my deck, all right? Now, I need 10 cards below my breather. So here's one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. I've got 10 cards below the breather. I'm set to go. Your spectator is gonna roll the dice and they're gonna choose two numbers. So let's say they choose the number five and three, okay? And this happens to be the number eight. I think that's the number they chose in the video, all right? So they're gonna cover those up so that nobody can see the number, all right? Your back is turned, obviously. And now you're gonna deal the cards to the table, counting them one at a time, all the way to 12, because they could be thinking of a number as high as 12 with two dice, obviously. But their number here is eight. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is eight. They're going to remember the queen of hearts. And then you would deal to 12, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now, while you're doing this dealing, you're looking at the two dice that they did not select. You're going to add up these two digits. Three plus two is five. And you will subtract that from 28. Now, the reason why you're using the number 28 is because we know that if we add up the top and the bottom number on a single die at seven, and in this case, we're using four dice. So seven times four is 28. So we're gonna subtract five from 28. We're doing this in our head as we're dealing. And we know that 28 minus five is 23. So my key number here is 23. I've just dealt 12 cards onto the table, but I gotta get this number to 23. So I need 11 more cards on top of this packet for this trick to work. Well, I know that I got 10 ready to go below my breather. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is double undercut the top card to the bottom, so now my packet is 11. 11 plus 12 gets me to 23. Okay, whatever this number is, minus 28, that's the key number you're trying to get to. So as long as I get the breather card and those 11 cards on top, I'm home free. So I'm gonna say, look, I'm gonna dribble some cards on top of, the, on top of your packet. Now I've dropped the breather and those 11 cards, and I'm gonna put some of the cards on the bottom, okay? And now you're thinking of a card that's lost somewhere in this deck. I'm now in position as long as we cut the reverse breather to the bottom of the deck, okay? So I might have them cut it a few times. Sometimes they'll cut to the breather. If they don't cut to the breather, I just do it myself. So now we got the breather on the bottom. You're now set to put the pin code in to unlock the deck to find their selection. So. We have, we're gonna flip the dice over and use the numbers on the bottom that nobody can see, the ones that were facing the table. So we're gonna turn the dice over and these dice, we don't even know what numbers are on top because they've had them covered the entire time. So the five gets flipped over, it becomes a two. And the three, obviously it's gonna become a four because we already know they add to seven. And now we're gonna deal these numbers down to the table. So the first digit's five. One, two, three, four, five, and then drop the deck on top. Four. One, two, three, four, drop the deck on top. Two, one, two, drop the deck on top. And four, one, two, three, four, drop the deck on top. Their card is now on top of the deck. So you can talk about the pin code, unlocking the deck because it was their secret card. And there you have it, it was the queen of hearts, okay? Um, real quick, just to um, clarify this, if you had any questions, if the number was say, say the number was nine that you were looking at, and you know you've got, you've got 12 cards on the table, you know you have 10 cards below your breather. Okay, there's my breather with 10 cards below it. If this number is nine and I subtract that from 28, so 28 minus nine is 19. I need 19 cards to go on top of the 12 that were on the table, but I'm getting ready to add 10 on top. So I can't add 10 to that because that's gonna get me to 22. And in this case, I'm trying to get to the number 19. So I'm gonna to need to remove three cards from here. I wanna get this to seven instead of 10 because seven plus 12 is gonna be 19. All right, so I would just overhand shuffle three cards to the top 
and then I'm gonna put those seven on top, the rest of the deck on the bottom, and now you're home free, okay? So all you gotta do is look at these two dice, um, see what the numbers are. If it's five and five is 10, you subtract that from 28. You need to get 18, 18 cards down on the table. You've already got 12, so here you would need to add six. So in that case, you would take four cards away, and now you're set to finish the trick by adding four. Uh, four more on top of the 12 to get you to 16, okay? So add these digits up, subtract it from 28. That's how many cards have to go down onto the table. I hope that that clarifies it, guys. Um, it's a lot quicker than the, than the original where you had to deal down in the pack to this secret number. So if the number was 22, you would deal 22 cards to the table, put them back on top, and then you would deal to the pin code, okay? So it was a ton, ton of dealing. I hope this is an improvement. Hope you guys can use that. So enjoy that, guys. Till next time, take care.